Hey everybody, CBQ here with a special edition of How It Works. I am here at the Greensy HQ and I wanted to talk about the next Greensy Equip mower. This is the Autonomous Vanquish from Mean Green. It is proudly driven by Greensy. It's a ultimate Greensy Equip mower. We've been working on this for a couple of years. This mower is in pilot. Uh, that means we do have customers in the field that are actively using it, giving us feedback, what works, what doesn't work. They're breaking things. Uh, yes, they are. Uh, we're fixing them. We're getting this thing ready for production. I don't have any dates on that. We'll talk to um, our, your local dealer and Mean Green about that, uh, nor do I have pricing on it, but uh, we are getting close uh, as we approach production. Uh, I wanted to go over some of the things that make this different from other Greens Equip mowers that you might have seen or are using in the field. So, uh, as always, I want to start with control. So, um, as you know, to get a Greensy Equip mower, we start with the control. How do we control left and right wheel? Now, this is an all-electric mower. I'm not going to be going over the features uh, that make it an, an all-day commercial battery, uh, the charging, all that infrastructure. Refer to your local Mean Green dealer for that information. But on control side, this is a CAN bus mower, so we have full CAN bus of left and right wheel, making it very precise. Uh, we have very rock solid straight lines that we can do because it is an electric mower. The integration is a little bit easier which also means that it may be able to be a dealer installed kit uh, so that you could purchase a Mean Green Vanquish and add the autonomy later. You add the sensor tower and a small component that plugs into the CAN bus that enables us to do control. Uh, we've made that very easy and that's been one of the design requirements of working with this, uh, this mower. So once we have left and right wheel, we have mower, we have blade, uh, we have throttle. Another thing that's very interesting is we actually have, uh, if you'll notice, deck height control that we can set uh, electronically. So uh, you can do it via the control panel here or you can set it via the job. So you could save a job and say, hey, we always want to mow this one at three inches or two and a half. Uh, and you could do that and you could make sure so that your operators aren't sort of winging it every day um, and you can change that and set that. That's very cool. That's a new feature. All right, that handles control. I do want to talk a little bit about the compute. Uh, now you will notice again, uh, ignore the fact that this is uh, a bear here. This does have a cover and it, it does actually look different. We've done a lot of cleanup of the wires. My team is cringing showing you this prototype unit. In the pilot units, the wiring is much more cleaned up. Another thing that is different control wise is that it does include this uh, e-stop pendant. We're calling this remote stop. Uh, this will allow, if, for those of you who are familiar with our other mowers, a remote control to allow stopping. You can twist to enable. Uh, this one does not have a remote control as of yet uh, so that you could sort of back it in or move it out. Uh, you can do some of that functionality from the phone, which I'll get to. Now, this computer is a ruggedized computer. Uh, we've got some rugged sensors here, uh, our rugged industrial modem, all this stuff, waterproof, uh, that kind of thing. So don't worry about uh, that, even though it may not look that, that case right now. All right, moving on to perception and how it perceives the world. Uh, this is based on the Greensy system. It still uses our rock solid obstacle detection algorithm. It is redundant, dual source, uh, so which means it relies on our a point cloud, which in this case is produced by a LiDAR system. Now this is a uh, prototype unit, may not go to production. We are evaluating the sensor. It looks good, um, but it may or may not make it to production. Um, as always, we use a depth cloud. If you're interested in that, we have several How It Works videos on what our, our system needs to be able to see the ground and see obstacles above the ground plane. Uh, it also has stereo depth cameras in the back if you come around. Uh, these, again, this is a pre-production model, so this is a, uh, a printout of uh, metal that will not make it to production. It is a visor, and these are not waterproofed. Both of those will be in the final production, but uh, early prototype stages here. These use a depth cloud in the back, and this produces a full 270 depth cloud over here and even in the, in the back. Um, like I said, we like that. It also still does contain our AIML algorithm for detecting people in cones. Uh, very proud of that and we'll continue to uh, wor be working on that. Next up is localization. So how does it know where it is in the world? Now you'll notice on this system we have two high grade uh, GNSS antennas. Uh, this is to enable a dual heading approach so that we can actually determine heading a little bit better than the single dipole GNSS antenna. It contains RTK corrected centimeter level uh, correctional along with our software that helps localize where it is. Uh, this helps with dense tree coverage uh, against buildings, that kinds of thing. It contains the fixed position system which also includes visual odometry. That is a camera based system so you'll notice one more camera in the front that also helps with that localization. Um, so making it very highly accurate and staying inside that boundary of where we want it to mow. So with that um, that is the full production setup. Uh, again I wanted to stress that this is a early, this machine itself is a prototype we have pilot machines which are a little bit further along, more dialed in, more cleaned up, that are in the field getting real usage and we're using that to um, make sure that this is ready to go to production. 
Uh, this mower does use an app a little bit more than the other one. You'll notice it doesn't have a map button. Uh, we do use the phone for that. Uh, it is very easy. You scan that QR code, punch in your pin code, and you are still able to do that. It contains all the GreenZ software. Another neat thing is that some of our customers who have GreenZ equipped mowers are utilizing their maps that they've already made. They're mapped out jobs from previous jobs. So that means you could show up with this mower. If you've already got a job saved, you load it, you hit go. Don't even have to mow the boundary. That's all part of the uh, GreenZ software. So we have crews that have mixed mode. They're using both of these, uh, you know, the, the um, GreenZ equipped Mean Green and GreenZ equipped uh, Right Autonomous Standard ZK, as well as some other models that we're working on. Uh, and they're all using those and they're all compatible. So that's also nice. Your robotic worker continues with you and knows all of its jobs, which is a pretty cool feature. As always, we're continuing to work on this. If you want to see this mower, we're going to be at Equip Expo. Uh, come out. Uh, we're going to have one on the indoor, and we're also going to have one outdoor doing outdoor demonstrations at key times. Uh, check by the booth to find the finalized times. Uh, we're actually out practicing. Uh, behind us, we've even got the hay bales ready so we can uh, make sure it all works. Uh, come see us at Equip. If you have any questions or you want to become a pilot user, reach out to GreenZ, talk to your local Mean Green dealer. Uh, it's coming. It's coming soon.